Welcome to Season Chasers. I'm Rob Freeman. Those that love nature and outdoor sports spend a lot of quality time looking for adventure throughout the year. The more you study, the more you learn about the peak seasons in nature. It's fun to know when it's best to go fishing or hunting, when it's time to pick blueberries, wild mushrooms, or native pecans. Sometimes the peak season is close to home, right in your own backyard, or it could be miles away near the mountains and the sea. Either way, this program will chase the seasons where the action is hot. Well, here's Jason catching one already. He's got one in the tail, and that makes him really fun to grab onto. The season is spring. Jason, Sean, and I are in the boat trolling for giant spoonbills in Oklahoma. So that flopping tail. River, not too far from the I-44 bridge. I don't think that one's done yet. Yeah, I don't think I want to grab that tail just yet. <laughs> they use the glove hand. I know, well, but I, I just just right where I need to grab. Grab behind the hook. Just about to get it too. Control your fish, Jason. <laughs> Today, the three of us will take turns catching, landing, and filming some of the biggest freshwater action anywhere. That's the great thing about those barbless hooks. They come right out. Barbless hooks slip right out. Hey, you want to grab him here? This is a good fish. <clears throat> Gonna have to take responsibility for your fish you caught here, Jason. Look at that guy. Lively. <laughs> Good catch. Good job. That nice get job. Started. Yeah. Catch and release. Whew. You know what? I think this is the biggest one I've ever had on. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I was clear out in the middle. Oh. You'd be embarrassed if it wasn't. This is the biggest snag I ever had. I had a bunch of guess. No guy who's good at catching swimming logs. I was clear out in the middle. This has got to. Well, it looks like it's moving. Yeah. I think it's a snag. Sean wet. Here we go. That's what we came here to listen for. Get in front of the tail. I'm going to. Hold on a second. Get him in! Get him in! Get him in! Get oh! That, get that other gill over. Yeah, get that get gill over. Gill's on the, on the I head. got him. Hold on a second. There we go. You can clear it. Well, what was that? That's 30-something, isn't it? Yep. I think that's another... It has bumps on its head. Feel its head, Sean. Right up those little spots right there. On t yeah. Bumpy? Nope. Should be a male. That's shape. how you do that. Jason, what have you done? Oh, we got another one. It's 
the Oklahoma pole bender. You got your permit, don't you? I hope. <laughs> they would have got me by now. You know, this might be the best one you've had on. I don't know. <laughs> Man, it seems like we're going to the fish. Nice fish. It's a fish, all right. You look like a pretty good snag. Yes, but it's... He's wrapped you on something, hadn't he? Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at this hook. <laughs> I think one of these... I don't think it's supposed to look like that. One of these needs to be adjusted. I think, <laughs> I think Jason, what do you say? You got a great big uh, ranch or something? <laughs> yeah, in there, man. Got a pipe ranch? <laughs> yeah. Now this spot was kind of good to me yesterday. And that's why I'm back today. And it's coming to the surface. Look here. Hooks. So we want to keep some pressure on them and gain some of this line back. But as murky as this water is, you won't see them until he gets right to the top. Here we go. Coming up, Jason. I'm not falling for it. <laughs> That's not him. That's not him. We've got to look at this one. Don't roll. Give me a tail. That's as far as it goes. Reach him in. This was probably in the 20 some pound range, wouldn't you say? Maybe 20. Yeah. Not a keeper. But it's fun to catch. Got him off. It's really fun to watch Sean take him, take him loose for you. That's really good. He's a good guy, Sean. Thank you. All right, another Oklahoma pole bender. Yeah. Nice I guess fresh one. thirty pounds. Yeah, maybe thirty. Going back. Good job. Good catch, Rob. Yeah, it's fine. Got him. I think it's the biggest one I ever had on. Hello. There's no way. Okay, see? He wants to stay in the shade. Well, yeah, we're kind of looking into the sun. He wants to sit in the shade. Wow. The Oklahoma pole bender is back. The old river rodeo. We're about to get the bulldog one if we get it close enough. This one's taken out line a couple times. Probably about a five pounder that I just got hooked to the tail. Maybe not. the land this kind. Uh, I just take the pliers and undo it. There's some behind you. Holy guacamole. I mean 
mean that is in there. You try to do it from my right hand? Yeah, you should just back it out. Just hold him still. I mean he's hooked. There you got him. Barbless hooks. That's a pretty good fish. Yep. Nice one. Alright. What do you suppose that one was, Jason? Every bit of 40. Yeah, 40 pounder. Every bit of 40. All right, get your ass in the back of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get, the, you get the lucky seat now, Sean. <laughs> this is the biggest fish I've ever had on. Oh, he's coming toward me. Coming up next, it's Sean's turn in the lucky seat. I think you guys have been holding out on me. That's what I think. <laughs> and we'll show you how to process some early summer net caught salmon and save it up for later use. That's a lucky piece of tail. It's after the break, today on Season Chasers. Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has nature's best fall decoration. Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has what you need to feed and care for the wild birds. Blue Ribbon Farm and Home sells supplies to attract trophy white-tailed deer. And don't forget Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has a huge selection of food for dogs. Whether you have a lap dog, a sport dog, chickens, or a goofy goat, Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has all the feeds you'll ever need. You talk about a goofy goat, and this is the goofy goat right here. Extreme environments can cause a spontaneous change in DNA, resulting in unexpected power and agility. Introducing the all-new, all-powerful Gator RSX 850i. 62 horsepower, a fully independent multi-link suspension, and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. It's a whole new species of Gator. It's hunting season right now at Pawnee Wildlife Preserve. We're open daily with an extended season and no daily limits for pheasants, chucker, and quail. Pawnee is a great place for dog training, private field hunts, or group events. Plan a great day in the country at Pawnee Wildlife Preserve near Fort Scott, Kansas. <laughs> this is the biggest fish I've ever had on. Oh, he's coming toward me. It's about a hundred feet of line out there. Hundred yards. Told you to put in there. We'll take you to a good spot next time. I think you guys have been holding out on me. That's what I think. <laughs> this is the best snag. Sean's had all day. Keep the pressure on him. There's no barb on that hook. Leave a little line out because he's going to thrash yet. Really wrapping on you. Keep it up, keep it up. Lighten the drag now. He's got about three wraps around the belly on you. Yeah, 30 pounds. Yeah, 30. Cool. Thank 
you. Wow, that's a good one. Rob apparently has the magic hole. That line hadn't been in the water about 20 seconds. Wham! <laughs> so, Rob has the magic stick. Lots of traffic under this bridge as well as on top of it. <laughs> yeah. We're down uh, downstream from the I-44 bridge. On the Osho River. And this is why I like coming here. Had a lot of line out. Got about a four ounce weight is all because the river isn't very deep here. But we think there's a pretty good concentration of paddlefish. Well, we haven't seen it yet, but we're pretty sure that this is one of those. Loosen my drag just a heck, a little bit here. Kind of tangled up. Come on back, buddy. This is another one in probably the 30 pound range. Another 30 pounder. We're really looking for something bigger yesterday. I checked one in that went 59.4, or about this same place. I don't think this one's quite that big. Maybe over 30, but it's at least 30. He got a heck of a wrap on me here. I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, this is a Paddlefish releaser. We want to get back in the water as soon as possible. We just got the hook out of it. Show you a quick look at it. Get it back in here. We just fine. Look here. I think it's revived. Just fine. Woo woo! Well, I haven't got a keeper yet. It sure is fun catching and releasing them that size. That's my fourth one on day number two here. So we'll uh, put our uh, hooks back in the water. They gotta be wet to work, I'm told. And uh, we think we're in a good place and we'll try to snag into some more. Share them with you today on Season Chasers. 100% real. Let me get my breath. Whew. Pole benders, get your heart to pump. Oh, looky there. What you got there, Rob? Looks to me like a p -p 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 paddle fish. This is right in the same spot where I caught my good one yesterday. Right where this little slough comes out and where that big vine hits the water. This is a good spot. This is where those guys found out their name was Gary. <laughs> Jerry from Neosho. We saw down here yesterday had a double on right here. <coughs> this one may not be real big, but they're all fun. I've released, I believe, four already this morning. And unless this one's noticeably larger than yesterday, I'll probably let this guy. much current in the river here. I had a lot of line. <laughs> we were kind of zigzagging across this river. Sometimes they're on one side or the other, sometimes they're down the middle. And I guess that's one way to hedge your bets. Well, we got this one within about 20 yards. <laughs> One of those high capacity reels that would hit and pull quite a lot out. Here's our catfishing buddy coming by. Let 
of it, right on the trail. Pretty good sized fish. What do you think, Paul? Yeah. Now he's really mad. This one is right in the tail, and it gives him just so much more leverage. Every time I try to pick that tail out of the water, this one doesn't seem to like that. This is a bigger fish. I got a 65 pound composite something or other line on it. And he's loose. Woo! Didn't hit the photographer or nothing. We're going to release that one anyway, I imagine. <laughs> but uh, that one was right in the tail. It would be a very, very hazardous um, one to release. And uh, that's probably the biggest one so far, would you say? I mean, it looked like a good fish. I mean, I don't think it was bigger than the one yesterday. But, I mean, they're all good. I believe this is the number 10 odd hook. It's a barbless treble hook. And uh, I don't want that digging into me, even though it might not stick. <laughs> uh, but that's what we're using today. We've got a, a lot of action so far. Looking for something to break uh, the 60 pound mark that I got that close yesterday. I, that one went 59.4. And uh, the uh, record so far down here this year in uh, Northern Grand Lake is in the 78 pound range. So I don't think uh, anything we've gotten so far is uh, anywhere close to that. So we're gonna get the hooks back in the water. Gonna get Sean uh, going again and uh, we'll keep you posted here on the Osho River where it's spoonbill season here on Season Chasers. Thanks for coming along. This is the biggest one I've got, I think. <laughs> There, Sean. We got a nice one. Huh? Finally, it took us a while. Yeah, what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> gonna keep that one? I think so. All right. Damn. Good one, ain't it? He's in the boat. That's got to be a pretty good one. Finally, an Oklahoma pole bender. Hey, it's a legal one. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. <laughs> Good job. Sean wow. wraps up our Oklahoma Spoonbill Rodeo today with Whew. his 54 pounder. Ordered a good one. I look forward to Spoonbill season almost as much as salmon season up in Alaska. The season is almost summertime. It's mid June. And it's that time of year when the kings and the reds uh, come back to cook in with Alaska. And uh, I've been asked to help uh, process some of this year's catch so far. And uh, so far I've been able to uh, fillet out some really nice kings and cut them into portions that uh, we're going to put into a vacuum sealer. Get them all cleaned up and dried off and uh, uh, ready for, uh, uh, for keeping for later on, for later on use. And, uh, those are kings that we have so far. I'll show you one of those uh, and how we process those in a little bit. But here's uh, one of the red salmon. This is a sockeye. And uh, it's already been, uh, had the head and tail taken off and all the fins and everything. So at this point, really all there is to do is fillet it and uh, get it in the proper size to put in the vacuum seal. We use this firm bladed Dexter Russell knife and run it right along the backbone here cutting these rib bones as we go. 
here we go. This is uh, sockeye salmon. We're going to go ahead and cut these rib bones out next, but that's some of the most beautiful, nutritious uh, fish that comes out, seafood that comes out of the ocean. And uh, it's really, really good stuff. I think this stuff's headed for the smokehouse. Sockeye salmon, that's uh, about as fresh as it gets here in West Cook County. Oh. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a trimmed up king salmon. Wow. Let's go ahead and get this one laid right out. Pretty nice. There's a lucky piece of tail. Here's one way to fix king salmon portions. You sear them in an iron skillet, then pop it in a 300 degree oven a few minutes to finish it off. This would be a seasoned chaser's serving suggestion of king salmon. These portions barely fit in the freezer bag, They'll stack up nicely in the chest freezer for later dinners. I've already taken three big hunks off this fillet, and there's some fish that aren't this big to start with. <laughs> I'm going to probably get two more big pieces, extra large, off of this. This is a big king. When you have king salmon this fresh, the only seasonings I use are garlic salt, cracked pepper, and a little olive oil. You won't be needing lots of ketchup. Kings are right at home on the grill, and there's room to spare for lots of good stuff to go with it. Warning, if you eat this kind of diet all summer, you could end up strong as a bear and lean as a wolf. That's a big bucket of fish. Big bucket of fillets, great. Good stuff. Waka waka. Tune in each week for some of the stuff you just won't see on other shows. Outdoors, wildlife, and a life of adventure. Being on the lookout for natural foods and making the most of what the wildlife provides. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors with someone who's important to you.